Oh hey, if you are too scared to be a goth in junior high but you still have a dark heart, you're gonna love today's episode. Ooh, baby, it is another episode of Laugh Cry DIY, the channel where we do DIY decor for cheap whores, and finally, it is October. And of course, the DIY community is doing a ton of super awesome, cool, creepy, fun crafts. And here's a deep, dark secret about me. I love Halloween. I have a deeply dark and depressed heart, but I hate all things horror. I don't like blood, I don't like horror, I don't like gore, I can barely watch a rated R movie. I always struggle with seasonal decor because it just doesn't go with my existing aesthetic. But I have recently become obsessed with two decor styles that are absolutely awesome. Whimsigoth and Tropagoth. We have Whimsigoth, which is like a fun, boho, eclectic, witch chic vibe. We have Tropagoth, which combines a lot of plants and tropical decor. Shout out to A League of Her Home on TikTok for introducing me to these terms. These styles are amazing, fun, eclectic, maximalist, witchy, bold awesomeness that I am obsessed with. And this year, I wanted to create some kind of whimsigoth, tropagoth inspired decor. I wanted to create some stuff that's kind of fun and macabre that I would actually use and display year round. I also wanted them to be very cheap. And because I have been so tired from casting curses upon all of my enemies, I also wanted them to be very easy, lazy girl DIYs that anybody could do. So let's get going. First up, I'm gonna put a fun twist on a classic dollar store DIY. A lot of people have been using the pizza pan tray from the dollar store to make trays, to make little plant stands, and I love that, but I wanna give it a little bit of a twist. So first things first, I have pizza pan tray and a little stainless steel dog bowl. We're gonna put them together, that'll be our base. But first I wanna add some pizzazz to the pizza pan. And here's something to know about this dollar store pizza pan. It's very weak and easy to manipulate. I actually wanna ruffle the edges to give it a little bit of a texture and make it kind of rippled, if that makes sense. And although I would usually use the powers of my mind to do that, for this one, we're actually just gonna use the strength of our fingers. So the best way I've found to do this is you kind of press in on the left and pull forward on the right. You guys see? And next up, we're gonna spray paint these, shocker, black. Ooh, baby, she's back and she's black. But Katie, this is not completely spray painted. Why is that? Thank you for asking. For this particular piece, we're going Tropagoth. It's very moody forest witch. So I thought, let's add a fun pattern here with some leftover wallpaper. <gasps> oh my God. She's black, she's tropical, she's stunning. If you wanna do this at home, you can do wrapping paper, fabric, peel and stick, contact paper. Whatever you wanna do, you can do it. So I'm just gonna trace around this bottom with this amazing pen that I got in Salem, Massachusetts. So I'm gonna trace off the top first and we're gonna cut that out. And I am just laying this over the top and bending down all around the circle so that I can create the indent of the bottom. Does that make sense? You guys see the circle indent? And then we're gonna pray. <gasps> ah! We're gonna mod podge. And we're gonna place this on carefully. And we're just gonna lightly go back over with a light coat of mod podge just to seal her down and also to give her a shine to help match the shine of the uh, semi-gloss spray paint that we used. And I'm just going back over with a little damp paper towel just to get any Mod Podge off the edges if it's spilled over onto it. And lastly, we're just gonna E6000 on the base. All right, next craft. And now, witchcraft number two. If there's one thing we know about us witches and demons and haunts, um, it's that we all love vases. So I thrifted this fun, simple purple glass vase. And I specifically got colored glass. And for this DIY, you're gonna wanna get colored glass too. Because what we're gonna do is we are going to put on a pattern, paint over it, peel off that pattern. And then we're actually gonna have a two-tone effect where we actually have some of this colored glass showing through. How magical is that? 
And if you don't have a colored glass at home, but you want a colored glass, you can follow my Mod Podge colored glass tutorial uh, here. I'll also have it linked below. So to create this pattern, we are using stickers. And what I have done is cut a bunch of moon and star shaped stickers um, out of dollar store price tags. Sometimes you're a little bit too cheap. And so instead of getting moon and star stickers, I did spend a lot of time cutting out these stickers, peeling off the backs and re-stickering them here so that I could easily do this on camera. So what you can see here is I'm just putting the moon and stars all over in a random pattern. Ooh. And we are gonna now spray paint this, shocker, black. Boom, beautiful, black, shiny, glossy, stunning. And now, because this is the hardest craft on earth, uh, we have to take off our stickers. And uh, if you're doing this at home, maybe you don't leave these out to dry for three days in very hot California sun where the sticker adhesive melts and makes it harder to get off. Pro tip, baby. Hi, welcome to Moment of Hell with me, Katie. I love the idea of this vase but I did not think about the fact that once we painted it black, it would really lose a lot of its light to show through that glass. This is what it looks like currently. Um, like from afar, you can barely see anything. So we're gonna pivot. So if I were you and I was gonna do this craft, I would spray paint this white so that you can actually see the pattern, whether or not there's light behind it. But every moment of hell has a moment of recovery because instead of using it as a base, we're gonna style it a different way a little bit later on. Oh, hey, just had to run an errand to the store to get what we are going to style this with. And that is <gasps> LED candles. And guess what? You're gonna see those at the end. And craft number three, I personally don't mind demonic possessive spirits as long as they come in the form of cute little friendly ghosts. So we are gonna make some ghosts with a fun twist. I have some air dry clay left over from other previous projects that I've been wanting to use up. So I'm gonna make three standing ghosts. So to start, I'm rolling it into a ball. And then I'm sort of shaping that into a cylinder so that I can plant it. And then I'm sort of squeezing the head so that it makes a little bit of an indented round shape. And then I'm smoothing out so that I have kind of the skirt, like that sort of like silhouette, that ghostly silhouette. And then I'm just smoothing and shaping. And you can just kind of mold in whatever shape you like. I do also kind of like to push in to give them this like wavy shape. Um, like almost like an hourglass, but definitely thicker on the bottom. I also like when their little skirts kind of like spill out a little bit away, you know what I mean? And my air dry clay is old and it is cracking, but that's okay, because we're gonna let it dry and then we can fill in with spackle and sand however we want. Look at those sexy curves. And we're back. Look how cute they are. Um, they dried, they did have a little bit of cracking. I did add in some spackle and now we're just gonna sand them real nice and smooth. And last thing, um, we're gonna just give them some eyes, not mouths. I don't want them to talk. I want them to be active and engaged listeners. So I'm just gonna draw on where I want the little eyes to go. To make the indents of the eyes, I'm just using a small little screwdriver. You can use any tool you want. If you wanna shave it, if you wanna carve it, if you wanna kind of indent it in, whatever you want. All right, now that they have all had their eyes gouged out, because we're going whimsigoth, we're going fun, um, and I have a colorful home, we are gonna do these in some very fun colors. Okay, how cute are these guys? Um, FYI, for this little green yellow guy, um, something you should know about working with the color yellow is that it's basically like very, very, very sheer. So anything that's under it will show through. So I realized that I had a little bit of like dirt, fingerprints, whatever. So I actually uh, painted it green, it all showed through. And then I sprayed white over it and then I sprayed the lemon lime green back over it. So now she is stunning, she is beautiful, and she is gonna haunt your dreams with cuteness because last thing, we're just adding a few little eyes. I am almost tempted to give them little eyelashes, but that is a great way to ruin it in the last moment. Alrighty, well, those crafts were very super quick, super simple, super lazy girl. And now it is time for you to finally see your big reveal.
Well, thank you for joining me on this very exciting, very thrilling Tropic Off journey. I am kind of so obsessed with Tropic Off that we might spend the rest of the month on this, but we don't know yet. Love you guys, like and subscribe, and until next time, just remember, please don't ever invite me to your horror slasher night because I will cry.